welcome to the stage, Kenny Rogerson. Hi, how are you? Good. How was your day, right? I don't know. You ever have one of those days when you get to work and you really don't feel like doing a fucking thing for like the first half hour you're there? Yeah, 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 that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> when you guys just shit if I actually did it. <laughs> just stood there, I didn't understand it at all. Oh, I'm drinking water. Used to drink a lot of alcohol while I worked. A lot. A lot. But when you're working at a hospital. <laughs> surgery this and surgery that. Could I have a little me time, please? Well, we live in a drinking country, do you think? We really do. Uh, this country, we drink more than any other country. I think it's because there's more reasons. I mean, we have the weather, let's be honest, it's gone out of its uh, This is the only place you ever live, you look out the window, 55 degrees and sunny, you bend down to tie your shoe, you look up, there's a foot of fucking snow on the ground. How is this possible? Last January, I was in Houston, Texas, I was very excited, January, Houston, it's near the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to be nice and warm. No, 40 degrees in Houston, Boston, 65. And this is, I think, the problem with getting people worried about global warming. Sure, the Earth could be coming to an end, but it's just so nice out. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I kinda like the global warming. <laughs> I'm up on the roof every night with aerosol cans. Oh, yeah, heat it up! <laughs> well, I see those tricks in Florida to get all the good weather. <laughs> Sure, the kids are swimming next to dead polar bears at the beach, but someone, it gives them something to play on. You can't build a raft like that. <laughs> we have a little thing in this country known as a booze cruise. Have you been on one of these, anybody? Is this a great country? What? How many countries do you know of? You can go, yeah, uh, we've got about 600 drunks. Could we borrow a boat? <laughs> Before you answer, now shut up, I'll talk. Before you answer, here's our plan. We want to get shit faced. That's it. All 600 of us just get shit faced. And then rip ass around the ocean for a while. Oh yeah, we'll be real we'll be real careful, right? Yeah, we're gonna have Timmy steer. He only drinks wine. Six hundred drunks sucking down liquor, peeing off the side of a boat, right into the ocean. Next day, everybody at the beach is going. You know, the water temperature really picked up. Well, have you ever gone in the ocean and the water's really cold, but then you walk a little way and you hit that mysteriously creepy warm spot. That's a booze cruise went by. Probably drunken fish out there right now. How'd you catch him? We did, he just dove in the boat and threw up. I hit him with an empty, you know, I, I love to fish. I did a show on a booze cruise in 1994, this is true. It got hit by the lightning. I'm not making this up. We're sitting at the pier, and you can see this storm just hanging out over the harbor. So I said to the guy, we're not going to go out in this, right? He goes, oh yeah. We'll be fine. And I thought, well, sure. What's a safer place to be? In the middle of an electrical storm. <laughs> sitting in water, I say on a solid steel boat. Yeah, why don't we wrap our peckers in tinfoil, run around the deck. Uh, 
You know, like I could actually twirl mine. <laughs> well, maybe now that I got some of that Niagara. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford those pills, so I just got some of that spray starch. <laughs> always makes me laugh. And I knew it was coming. It always makes me laugh because I know there's at least one guy in this audience thinking, spray star. That might just be crazy enough to work. What's it up? It ain't going nowhere. And it's wrinkle free. We love to drink in America. Free booze when you gamble. Yep, they want you shit-faced, but strong enough to walk around. Would you like another cocktail when you're gambling your son's tuition money, sir? No sense having my wits about me. It's not really money, it's chips. I like going to the horse races, although I know nothing about horses, which makes me a total... I still gamble on them, of course. This is me at the track. Oh, yeah, that brown horse. No, no, the one with the white foot in the back. That He looks fast. Got a good strong ass on him, but he's a runner. Wait, that one took a shit in a thing. Someone told me that was lucky. Have you ever heard that? I'm at the track. My friend goes, hey, you know, if the horse takes a dump before he goes off, He'll run faster, because he's lighter. <laughs> yeah, or he's sick. Which is it, Horse Whisperer? Here's something I did not know. I was, uh, last July I was working at Hooters in Las Vegas. If you've never been to Hooters, if you're a guy, you should go. They get the pretty girls with the big fake breasts, which I like. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about having my testicles done up like that. <laughs> You know, a couple of big 44 inches walking around. <laughs> you know, maybe wear a pair of see-through fishnet pants. <laughs> <laughs> then I can get all indignant when I'm talking to people. You know, I have a face. <laughs> <coughs> That's not me. I'm up here, I'm smart. But anyway, I'm, was I, so I'm talking to this guy from Kentucky, right, who actually owns a thoroughbred racehorse, which he now uses just for stud purposes. And I asked him how much that cost, and he told me $250,000. Quarter of a million bucks to basically let his horse, you know, <laughs> screw your horse. And I'm thinking, <laughs> get me a horse suit. And the ladder, of course. I mean, a, that's a quarter of a million dollars. I'll blow them for an extra five grand. I really what? That's just business. Not like I'd be dating these animals. That'd be wrong. So what do you do for a living? I work with horses. I'd rather not talk about it. Satisfying job? I keep getting all these messages on my answer machine. <laughs> you left before I woke up. <laughs> this is me on water, man. I don't drink at all anymore. There's a reason you never heard of me. <laughs> yeah, I used to drink a lot. A lot. More than what you're thinking. I have trophies.